Hello little ones, my name is Charlene and tonight I'll be reading you Look, a Mokojambi by Opal Palmer Adisa. Last night, just after mommy turned off the light and said sleep tight, I saw a Mokojambi standing by my window. I was just about to scream out when he put his finger to his lips. I zipped my mouth, my eyes wide. I looked to see if Baku, my twin sister, saw him too, but she had fallen asleep even before mommy turned off the light. I blinked and looked at the window again. Now there were two Mokojambis. They folded their hands together and leaned their heads on their clasped hands. They looked like one perfect shell split into two. Go to sleep. We will protect you, they said. And then, just like that, they got swallowed up by the darkness. I closed my eyes tight and soon I was asleep. I woke to find daddy sitting on my bed, shaking me gently. It's time to get up and get ready for school, he said, leaning close to my ear. Daddy, I said, still in bed, do Mokojambis ever visit you at night? I can't say that they have, he said, helping me out of bed. But daddy, I pleaded, not now, Bamideli. Time for school. Ask grandpa when you see him this weekend. When daddy left the room, I whispered to Baku. I saw two Mokojambis at our window last night. No, you didn't, she said, sticking out her tongue and racing to the bathroom before me. I stuck my tongue back out at her and went to the window to look. As far as I could see, there were no Mokojambis, just chickens and roosters. I looked to the left, but I saw just the mango and plum trees full of fruits. I looked to the right, but I saw just Tiger, our boxer, leashed sitting on his hind legs beside his kennel. I peered further and saw an iguana, head raised, listening, but not moving. I looked all around, but all I saw was sky and the day. No mokojambis. At breakfast, I asked, Mommy, can a mokojambi get into my room? No, Bami Deli, but why do you ask? She said, rubbing my back. I saw one. Well, I saw two Mokojambis last night by my window, just after you turned off the light and closed the door behind you. Really? What did they do? They told me to go to sleep and that they would protect me. You are really lucky to have your very own Mokojambis protecting you and your sister. Eat up now so we aren't late for school. Mrs. Charles is my teacher and she knows everything, so I asked her. Mrs. Charles, do Mokojambis ever stand by your window at night? Not that I know of Bamidele, but it's their job to protect us and guard our community. Now take out your books so we can begin our reading for the morning. At lunchtime, I told my best friend Jamal that two Mokojambis were standing at my window last night. Were you scared? He asked. Before I could reply, he said, sometimes when I see Mokojambis at Carnival or the AG Fair, they scare me because they are so, so, so tall. He bit into his Johnny Cake. I know, I said, and they wear masks that cover their faces. And they dance and prance around like skyscrapers, Jamal added. And they don't have feet like us, I shouted. And they wear hats and gloves, he squealed. And they are spirits! We both screamed and ran off. Saturday, when Baku and I went to visit our grandpa, he was standing by a coconut tree drinking coconut water. Grandpa... I said as he gave Baku and me each a coconut jelly. Will the Mokojambis hurt me if they stand by my window? No, sir, said Grandpa. Then he leaned against the coconut tree and smiled, a faraway look in his eyes. Mokojambis are here to protect us and keep us safe. 
They are the good spirits of our ancestors. As long as Mokojumbis are around, we'll continue to be safe and to prosper as a people. I looked to see what Grandpa was staring at. I saw Mokojumbis dancing all over his land, between the coconut trees, among the banana trees, even under the flamboyant tree in the middle of the lawn. I felt happy to see the Mokojumbis. I called Tobacco and she, Grandpa and I joined the Mokojumbis and we danced all over Grandpa's yard. I hope you enjoyed the story. I sure did, and Teddy did too. <laughs> See you tomorrow night for more. Good night, Montserrat.